how to list your first product on Amazon properly. No matter you are a new seller or old seller, you must need to watch this video because in this video, I'm going to be covering some main points which you need to keep in your mind while listing your product so that can be beneficial for you for future. Because while listing your product, if you put the data correctly, put the information about your product correctly and in detail using all the relevant data and keywords, then in future it will be super easy for Amazon algorithm to identify your product, to understand your product, so it can display your product to all of those buyers who are actually looking to purchase that product. So in simple words, if you do it correctly, the chances of getting for your product to get more and more sales will be super high. So keep on watching this video completely step by step till the end because by the end of this video, you will be having some useful tips in your hands which will surely gonna help you a lot to get successful on Amazon. But before getting started, I was there and I sell my products on Amazon, eBay, Shopify, ClickFunnel and Redbubble. And on this channel, I share my knowledge with you people so you can do the same and build your online business. So if you are interested in learning about the fastest and easiest way to make money online, which can give you profit in your first 7 days, then make sure to sign up for my free 30 minutes webinar from the link below so you can also achieve financial freedom like me and leave your 9 to 5 job. So without any further delay, let's start the video. Alright, so as you can see here, I'm on Amazon.com now and for this video, we're going to be listing a product called Bamboo Tray. So before we start listing the product, we first need to search that particular product on Amazon, how competitor listing are look like, what data they have put about their product on the product listing. So we will be having a good idea like what kind of information we need to put into our product listing so that can help buyer to make their purchase decision with your listing. So after searching, go down and find some listing which are best seller Amazon choice or having good reviews. So you can see that this second listing is having Amazon choice badge. It's called Bamboo Tea Serving Tray 3 pieces and the reviews are 46. Review rating is very good and the price is $17.99. So let's open this one. So before starting analyzing a listing or start creating the listing, you must need to understand that what are the main building block of a listing. Like what are the things that combine and build up a listing. So the listing contain title, bullet point, description, images, and information about product like the dimension, the weight, the material, the color, the size, and all that. So what most of the people do wrong is they focus too much on the photography. They focus too much on the content like title, bullet point, description. So that will be good. But on the other hand, we need to understand the science or psychology behind the customer's mind. Like when someone land on your listing, after reading the title, bullet point, description and after seeing the images, there is some information they need to know about your product and without getting that information, they will not place the order. Like they might be interested in knowing about the material of that product, the size of that product, the quality of that product, the color of the product or if you are selling a product that is in pieces or that is having a pack size like pack of 2 or pack of 5. So they need to know despite of the dimension of the product packaging, they need to know about the dimension of the single unit. Like for example, if they are getting these trays, so they will be getting 3 trays. So they need to know about the quality, the material, the weight, size and the dimension of that tray. So before buying, they will be able to understand that tray will be fit into their kitchen or fit to whatever place they want to store it, they want to use it or they want to place it. So when we go down, we can see that after images, after title, bullet point and description, when we go down, here in this product information section, we can see some things like the brand name, the color is coffee color, the material is bamboo, the product dimension is 11 by 4.0.39, the shape is rectangular, the size is rectangle and style, it is not dishwasher safe and so on. So as you have seen here, there is too much information about this product this seller has listed. But what most of the people do is they leave this information blank in their seller central while listing their product. In that way, after running the PPC campaign, after ranking the product, when they start getting traffic on their listing, so that traffic or those people will not purchase from their listing because this information is missing. So now as we have already analyzed the listing of our competitor, so let's go on our seller central and try to list the same product. But before going to seller central, we need to do this one last thing, which is find the category. So as you can see that the main category is kitchen and dining. And the subcategory is serving trays. So we need to click on this serving trays. So after clicking on that category, the subcategory, on the left side, we can see that there is a hierarchy. So by following the same hierarchy, we can navigate to the subcategory. You can see that the main category is kitchen and dining, and then dining and entertaining, dineware and serveware, serveware, serveware dishes, and at last serving tray. So after opening that category page for the competitor listing, now we need to go on seller central. 
and from here we need to go on the top left corner click on catalog and from here we need to click on add products and from this page we need to click on i am adding a product not sold on amazon so from there some people type the category name here and search for that but this is the wrong way because sometimes it works, sometimes it put the wrong category. So in that place, I recommend you to navigate the category step by step, just we found on the competitor listing. So go down, again go on competitor listing, see kitchen and dining, dining and entertaining, dine where. So we need to find kitchen and dining, which will be in the home and kitchen. Kitchen and dining, dining and entertaining, dine where and serve where, and then serve where, serve where dishes, serve where, serve where dishes, trays and platters, Need to make sure yes and then serving trays so you can see that serving tray so this is the final category that's why i'm not able to click on that category because i can see a select button on the right corner so after clicking on this select button on serving trays we have finally selected that category so now the 40 percent work is done so after landing on this page you can see there are multiple tabs on the top like product identity, vital info, offers, product details, variation, safety and compliances, images and shipping. So all you need to do is fill out the fields one by one on the page and complete all the page one by one. For example, after completing this page number one, you need to click on continue and then you will be able to move on page number two, which is vital info. And then you need to keep filling out the data. And at last page, you need to click on save and continue. And your product will be listed on Amazon in 15 minutes. So after listing your product, you need to send your inventory to Amazon FBA. And to learn that, you can go on my Amazon playlist on my channel and watch that video in order to send that inventory to Amazon FBA warehouse and make your listing active. But for now, you can see that in that field, you need to put the title of the listing. And in that field, you need to put the brand name and in that field, you need to put the product ID, which in case you can use UPC code, which is the most popular method. So from that drop down menu, you can just click on the UPC code and then you can just put the UPC code here. And you can just buy UPC code from any website like speedybarcode.com or any other. But what some people do is they don't have the UPC code and they don't buy and they just click on I don't have a product ID. So if you do so, then you can get a trouble in future. So it's better to buy a UPC code and put it there so you might not face any problem in future. So it's important to put the UPC code here. And same as that, it's important to put the brand name here. Because if you click on this checkbox, like this product does not have a brand, so it will list your product as a generic product or unbranded product, which will surely drop your sales in future. And once you list your product as an unbranded product, then it will be super hard for you to change that brand name in future. So it's better to tell Amazon about your brand name before listing your first product. So Amazon will know that this brand name is with your seller central and then you don't need to click on this checkbox. You just need to type your brand name here, whatever that is, like my brand name. So after doing that, your product will be having a UPC code and a brand name. So these are the two most popular mistakes which most of the seller do while listing your product and in future they face trouble. So the UPC code you can just buy from speedybarcode.com and to tell Amazon your brand name, you can just watch my video on error 5665. You can just see the thumbnail of that video here and you can find the link of that video in the description box. So it's a five minutes video. Go there, watch that video. So you will be able to tell Amazon that, hey, this is my account and this is my brand name. So Amazon will allow you to put your brand name here in that field and list your product. Because if you put the brand name here without informing Amazon, then Amazon will give you the error and you will not be able to list your first product. So it's super important to tell Amazon your brand name. So first watch that video, tell your brand name to Amazon and then when Amazon approve that, it will almost take 24 hours. So after that list your product because it's a one time process and it will save you from many troubles in future. So this first page was so much important and I have explained you everything about that page. So after filling all that information, you need to click on this continue and from there, you need to fill out all the information on the pages correctly as I've shown in the starting of this video. Like you need to put the bullet point, SEO optimized description, the weight, dimension, material, color, and each and everything about your product. Because these fields can be vary from product to product. Like you are the product owner and you know much about your product as compared to other people. So spare some time in putting the correct data in all of the field, all of the pages regarding your product and make sure to put the correct data. Correct material, correct size, correct bullet points, correct size and all of that. And after filling out the information at the last page, shipping, you need to click on save and continue and your first product will be live. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you really found my content informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in the future. 
And if you have any question regarding this video or any other topic regarding e-commerce, then you can just chat with me anytime from the link in the description below. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.